Shalom. I want to give all praises, honors, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His Son, Yahweh Shai, that's who the world erroneously calls God and Jesus Christ. Uh, double honors to our elders, the apostles of Great Millstone, and salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel. And, um, now, with me, I've got the brother, Yahazayan, and myself, Yashalam. Now, at camp on Saturday, uh, we were just speaking in the spirit uh, regarding maps, and through the spirit, we, we uh, came across an ancient map okay an ancient map of Africa and in this ancient map we saw that the the land was called uh, Ethiopia and that goes hand in hand with the prophecy of Amos chapter 9 verse 7 which is what we're gonna go into Lord willing through the spirit and break down you know this map that we that we saw and uh, and also this prophecy okay and uh, it was broken up into two parts which you will see on the screen right it was broken up in the Western Africa uh, as lower Ethiopia and towards the mid mid africa and towards down the south was called upper ethiopia okay. and in the midst of lower ethiopia which is pretty much which is west africa and the interiors around in the middle was negro land okay. and uh, i got it i got it right here brother yeah gonna bring it out okay. of course you brothers know very well about the donovan <laughs> bible dictionary yeah and we're gonna read ham <clears throat> we're gonna we're gonna this we're gonna filter well, who the Ethiopians are according to Amos 9 and 7 all right we're gonna bring it out because it's a prophecy in the time of Amos and it came to pass during the time of what we're reading about uh, Israel being go going into the interiors of Africa okay. this is Ham chapter uh, Ham in the Bible dictionary page 213 it says the youngest son of Noah probably born uh, about 96 years before the flood and one of eight persons to live through the flood He became the progenitor of the dark races not the Negroes. So who are the Negroes? Actually the history will tell you that the Negroes went by the name of Igbo, right? Right. Igbo. Yeah. Igbo. Yeah. All right, in which this brother he's 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 one of them man All right, because this brother's from that his people are From the his family is from that area man. Right. Nigeria <laughs> All right, it says he became the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes, but the Egyptians. In the Hebrew and in the scriptures, they're known as Matizarium, okay, which is the uh, Philistines or the uh, Sudanese or the Watusis. All right, and it says Ethiopians. See, Ethiopians. Ethiopians. The son is the son of Cush. Yeah. All right, son of Ham, his name is Cush. That's who Ethiopians is. So the Lord said in Amos 9 and 7, read it. Come on. This is Amos chapter 9, verse 7. Are ye not as the children of Ethiopians unto me? Why did the Lord say that? He said this to the prophet Amos. All right, because this is a prophecy that the Most High had in place of the uh, geography. Yeah. All right, and the curses that will come upon us, man, come on. Israel. All right. Because I know it did use it was broken down at one point that we have the closest features of to the uh, Africans, uh, the Ethiopians than the other Africans, which is true. Nonetheless, this is this is strictly dealing with how Israel would be uh, scattered into the interiors of Africa. Yep. And the maps prove it. Yep. All right. Read that again. Yeah, this is Amos chapter 9 verse 7. Are ye not as children of the Ethiopians unto me, O children of Israel, saith the Lord? Have see, I See, O children of Israel. Yeah. Because this is the prophecy. All right, it says what? <clears throat> Ham became the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes. So who are the Negroes? Okay. <clears throat> All right. If you want to add, brother. Go yeah. Ahead. I just want to bring out uh, a point from this map. So this is the map that we came across on Saturday and you know I just want to bring out a few points from it uh, concerning this prophecy that we're going into so it's this is from www.afrolihar.com and it says this it seems certain declares Sir E. A. Wallace Budge that classical historians and ge geographers called the whole region from India to Egypt both countries inclusive 
by the name of Ethiopia. And in consequence, they regarded all the dark skinned and black peoples who inhabited it as Ethiopians. Let you know what? This prophecy in Amos chapter 9, verse 7, it came to pass, man. That's what we're reading about here. It actually came to pass. Let me read that one more time. It seems certain, declares Sir E. A. Wallace Budge, that classical historians and geographers called the whole region from India to Egypt, talking about the, the land of Africa, the continent of Africa, both countries inclusive by the name of Ethiopia. That's right. And in consequence, they regarded all dark-skinned and black peoples who inhabited it as Ethiopians, man. So let's read Amos chapter 9 verse 7 again, because this is what Yahweh Bashmael Shai prophesied to, uh, well, through the prophet Amos. Are ye not as children of the Ethiopians unto me, O children of Israel, man? So this is the prophecy that came to pass, man. Okay, through, through, through the maps that we're looking at, you know? That's right, and I got, I got an uh, excerpt here in this book, Nature Knows No Color Line by Jay Rogers, another well-known book that brothers do know about okay. in Israel. And I'm gonna read from uh, page 52, yeah. just to add on land back to what the brother read. This is uh, page 52, it says, in Rome, Negroes were first called Ethiops. And now mind you, the word Ethiop is a Greek word meaning burnt face. Yeah. All right. So it said who? Negroes. Poor Negroes, the so-called African Americans, all right, the so-called West Indians, the so-called Haitians. Kind. Those are Negroes. Israelites. Yeah. The kingdom of Judah. Yeah. The southern kingdom. So in Rome, Negroes were first called Ethiops. Kind. Because <clears throat> cause you got to understand, the Greeks came before the Romans. And the word Ethiop is a Greek word. So really, it came from the Greeks, man. Yeah. You see? But we know the history through the spirit. And that's that's what is, the scripture is clearly telling us, man. Con. All right? You, you, the Ethiopians in at Amos 9 and 7 is Israelites, man. Con. All right? Con. <clears throat> the Romans took that name from the Greeks, who took it from the Africans. Later, more. Seem to have come into fashion. This too was an African word imported into the Greek to describe black people. That is Moros, black. All right. The word Mauritania in Greek meant black. Still later came Niger or nigger. Mm. Still yeah. later came Niger, which where you get where uh, Nigeria. Yeah, that's what exactly. That's what you get. That's, <laughs> and, that's, and that's Negro yep, land. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> still, still later came Niger from the river of that name. It is likely that people from Negrita, land of Niger, yeah. now Nigeria, brought that word into language of the Romans. And since they were black skin, Niger, or nigger, came to mean black. All right? Kind of. <laughs> so is this... Is... Should we bring out this, uh, this map? Please, brother. Kind of. <clears throat> so we've got another map here from, uh, <clears throat> I believe it's from 1767 by a man named uh, Bowen. And we're going to bring out more information about just who was inhabiting uh, this, the west coast of Africa in 1767. So, you know, Lord willing, in, in the editing, I'm going to bring out this map so, you know, you brothers that's watching this can see it more clearly. But if we can move it a bit closer, it tells you here, look, uh, let me see. Yes, by the slave coast, it says Kingdom of Judah, Wydar Slave Coast. Now this area where my finger is, today this is the land of Nigeria, okay, Ghana, Togo. So who is inhabiting this land? It says Kingdom of Judah. The Kingdom of Judah is speaking about you so-called Negroes, okay, Haitians and West Indians today, man. Okay, so you people that's over here on this uh, Western Hemisphere that were brought over in cargo slave ships, okay, from the 1600s and up. You was once in this land, man, and we were, we were, um, we set up a kingdom of Judah in this land. That's what we're seeing here in this map, man. You know, if you want to bring out anything. Right, good. Uh, I'm going to just keep going into it. In case that didn't, in case that those, those uh, few points didn't do it for you. Come <laughs> We got plenty of more proof, all yeah. right? Plenty of more proof. This is uh, page 57 in the uh, book, Nature Knows No Color Line. <clears throat> Just give me a second. 
Right. This is uh, page 57. It says, however, this is certain. To the Christians of the 8th century and much later, the Moors were a jet black people, so much so that until Shakespeare's time, Moor was used to signify an unmixed Negro. All right, so Moor, all right, Ethiop, all right, black, that's all the same. It's, it's, it's referring to Israelites, man. Yeah. It's referring to Israel, man. All right. Who you so-called Negroes, man. Okay. All right. Read that scripture again, huh? Okay. And also that goes into the, the one of the curses that was put upon us, man. Because the, exactly. Lord, the Lord said that we were going to be uh, known as a byword, man. Us calling ourselves blacks or other people calling ourselves black. That's a byword, man. That's, that's a curse because we're not black. Black right. is a color, man. Right. Okay, our true nationality, according to the, the Bible, is that we're Israelites. I'm referring to you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. Okay, but let's go back to uh, Amos 9 and 7. Amos 9 and 7. So this is Amos chapter 9, verse 7. Are ye not as children of the Ethiopians unto me, O children of Israel? And what does Ethiopian mean again? <coughs> Burnt face. Yep. All right. We just we want we brother gonna show you in the map how Africa, the land of Ham, okay, Africa was broken up yep. into two parts, Lower Ethiopia and Upper Ethiopia. Yep. During the before Christ before the Christian era, okay. Yep. <clears throat> so that's prophecy, brothers. You know uh. that's that's prophecy. That Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, all right, prophesied about us, man. Yeah. All right, because the people of Judah, Benjamin, Levi aren't Cushites. Yeah, like, you understand no, that? Yeah, no way. <laughs> See, you got them, 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 uh, Falashian, yeah. Falashian Jews over there. Yeah. They're actual, they're Cushites. Huh. They're Ethiopians. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. It's not talking about them, it's talking about us. The Most High saw and he prophesied to Amos that, look, you're going to be called Ethiopians, man. Okay. You're going to be called Ethiopians. Yeah. Okay? And the point that you made yeah, at while he was at camp is that when yeah. the Lord, Yahweh Bashem al Shai, gave this prophecy to Amos, Amos didn't really, probably didn't even know that, you know, what that no, was. Amos, Amos didn't know. Because he, he was know. living during the kingdom yeah. of Israel, during the king of Uzziah. Yeah. All right. Which, huh. he was the king of Judah, which Israel was in rulership at that time, okay. when Amos was around. Okay. Page 74. This is the this is the clencher point, bar none, and do the spirit whatever else is gonna be brought out we bring it out. Yeah. But we just wanted to make this bring this home through the spirit and power. Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. Okay. This is page seventy four, and Negro knows no color line. I mean nature knows no color line. Excuse me. It says Ethiops, which we now call Moors, Morans or Negroes. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get around it, man. All right. Amos 9 and 7, again. Uh, this is Amos chapter 9, verse 7. Are ye not as children of the Ethiopians unto me, O children of Israel? Saith the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Have not I brought up Israel out of the land of Egypt and the Philistines from Capthor mm -hmm. and the Syrians from Kerr? Mm -hmm. And that's, that's the point, that's basically. It. Yep, that's the point, man. So I'm going to just read, I'm going to finish this out. This is in uh, the Bible Dictionary, uh, Ham. Let's go back uh, where I left off. He became the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes, but the Egyptians, Ethiopians, Libyans, and Canaanites. Yep. All right? So there you go. That's it, man. That's All right? It. That's why we're not fucking Africans. As a matter Come of on. fact, <laughs> as a matter of fact, there's, there's information out there on the YouTube all right, I don't know which camp it is, but it's a Hamite that it, that uh, that boasts that uh, he had our people in slavery and how he would kill us, he would chop off our heads and eat our skulls. I call them inferior, I call you slaves, we turn you into slaves and when we didn't need you no more, we kick you out of Israel, and, I mean out of Egypt and out of Africa, we sold you to America and that's where we want you to stay and we don't want you back in Africa again. <laughs> now! You black people in this country, it's time for you to wake up and realize that this thick shit, this thick, this thick doodle eating African does not care about you. He's not your people. He hates you. And that's why I told you out of Africa. All right. 
So you look at you look at these so-called Africans, man. All right, who are Hamites? All right, that uh, that uh, have a have a hand over you, that are above you. All right, in this society. All right, they got all kinds of businesses. They're they're they, they you know they're rich alongside with the so-called white man. Yeah. They're the ones that took part in putting your ass in slavery. But a nigga talking about he's he's comedic. A nigga will call himself a, a comedic. Yeah. And the comedic people are Egyptians, man. Come on. And they don't. Sorry to add, oh, can yeah, I? They don't have the same spirit as you, man. First of all, and that's that's. If you don't mind, let's close yeah, out yeah, with that, man. Go, this go. is Exodus chapter eleven, verse seven. Oh, God. But against any of the children of Israel, talking to you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast, that ye may know how the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, doth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. That's right. Okay, and this isn't just the Egyptians. This is all these other so-called uh, African nations, man. That's right. Okay. Libyans. Yep. Ethiopians. Khan. Kushites. Yep. Canaanites. Khan. And uh, note that this this land, all right, called Africa, was known as the land of Ham. Khan. Yeah. Yep. That's okay. A good point. It was known as the land of Ham before the so-called white man came over there by way of the Roman general Leo Scipio Africanus and named it after himself. Hence, now you got the uh, word or the, the continent, you know, as Africa, Con. which is named after a Roman Edomite. Okay? Yeah. Hey, so with that, you know, Lord willing, you brothers that's watching this, we're edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashmael Shai. We'll have to close out from here, giving all praises to Yahweh Bashmael Shai. Double honors to our elders, the apostles of Great Millstone, and salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom. Shalom.